Hello besties, it is nosy bitch time. If you've been here before, you already know this is a timeless read. Next 48 hours, what do we need to know? Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do we need to know for the next 48 hours? Please and thank you, spirit. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm not mad at this. Okay. So, first and foremost, you are taking control of your life with the King of Swords or King of Wands energy. You might be dealing with a King of Swords, Divine Masculine, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, can't think today, or an Aries, but this is most likely you. You are stepping into your power. You know exactly what you want, what you need, what you deserve. You're taking control of your life. You're being a little stubborn, but you're loyal, a little impulsive, but at the same time, like, you know, a little bit inspired, creative, and things like that. This is going to work out in your favor. So if you do have the opportunity to step into some leadership op opportunities, take control of your life, start that side business, good, good reckonings, because the chariot's coming out. So sevens are all about divine timing, communication, um, victory, overcoming your obstacles with the chariot. It's that movement. It's that control. It's that hard work and focus. And there's going to be a gift. So probably a gift from the universe with the six of pentacles. You can kind of see the balancing of the scales here. So, you know, generosity coming into, you know, equal give and take, feeling valued, feeling appreciated, which we love to see out here. And things are coming into balance with the temperance card. So definitely you're finding your inner peace. You're gaining that perspective, that moderation, you know, realizing like, yes, you need to stand up for what you believe in, but you know when to pump the brakes, which is nice as someone who is an impulsive queen. I get it. But at the bottom of the deck, we have the fool. So yeah, you are going to take a leap of faith when it comes to something. You're going to be very, once again, impulsive because it's going to be necessary with the Knight of Swords coming out. You know, this is a big change in opportunity that's coming into your life. Could be an Aquarius. But you know, once again, after a period of feeling like things were stuck, stagnant, you know, you had many decisions, you didn't know what to do, you know, it, you've been very stressed out. I'm telling you, you're going to make the right decision because we have the sun card so the happiest card in the deck positivity freedom independence and right below that we have the queen of pentacles so you're stepping in your abundance era i think this might have to deal more with finances than with a relationship but i mean it could as well but i'm just saying you know you are definitely in your prosperous state which is health, wealth, prosperity, love, and gratitude. You know, it's definitely very nurturing, but someone who is grounded and gets their work done, bestie. And yeah, you are no longer with the moon in reverse, dealing and releasing anxiety, fear, anything like that. Subscribe to the YouTube Emerald Taurus to be entered to win a free.